okay so in this video we are going to explain you about the chemicals and their sign or their hazards so that is important because uh, as you know the traffic signs and the rules that we have to follow for the safe driving on the road so exactly same uh, way we have to follow our chemical sign to know their hazards because if we know the hazards of the chemical then it will be very good for our safety and we will know how to handle them how to store them and according to their hazards and how to safely dispose them so let's start to understand the different signs of the chemicals So these are going to be the classification of hazardous material. Um, they are depicted by the hazardous communication standards or the HSC program uh, pictograms. Um, this is regulated um, by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, otherwise known as OSHA. So this is the color code for a hazardous material classification. There is a blue, a red, and a yellow, and a white. Um, and what they mean is the blue will show for health hazards, the red will show for fire hazards, the yellow will show for reactivity, and the white will show for uh, specific hazards. In addition to the color signs, there is also a number system. So the color signs uh, will show the health hazard for blue, the flammable uh, hazard for red, the reactivity for the yellow, and specific hazards in the white. The numbers uh, range from zero to four, zero being the least hazardous and four being the most. Um, and they can correspond with any of the boxes that we have on the health hazard sign. For example, for the health hazards, zero will be uh, normal material, one will be slightly hazardous, two is hazardous, three is extremely dangerous to your health, and four is very deadly. For the fire hazards, we'll show the flash points of where, when these are flammable. So zero, meaning it will not burn. One, it will have to be above 9 be 3.3 degrees Celsius, 2 will have to be below 93.3 degrees Celsius, 3 is below 37.8 degrees Celsius, and 4 is below 22.8 degrees Celsius, which is at The reactivity hazards start at 0, where the chemical is stable, 1, where it's unstable if it's heated, 2, it's violent uh, chemical change, 3, it shocks and heat may detonate the chemical and four is that it may detonate. The specific hazards uh, will show either one of these symbols. There is a radiation hazard if it shows this, no use of water, coercive, an alkali base, acids, or it's an oxidizer. that is contaminated with human or animal fluids, um, including blood or plasma, and will also dispose of sharks like needles and razors in a container that looks like this. Right, these are the specific hazards uh, that you can find on chemicals, and if you want to learn more about them, you can go to OSHA.gov. Um, so this first one with the swollen crossbones, that is an acute toxicity hazard. Um, if you see this person with kind of like a burst on their chest, that is a health hazard. Um, if you see a fire or flame, that's a flammability hazard. If you see an exclamation mark, it's a non-specific and you'll have to further read direction for the chemical to identify the hazard. If you see this O with the flame on top of it, that's an oxidase, uh, oxidation hazard. If you see a, a gas cylinder, 
That is a exploding explosion bomb. And then this is an explosive hazard. This is an environmental or marine hazard. And then this uh, hand mixing with the chemical is a coercion hazard. Okay. Some more specific hazards uh, within each pictogram would be like the exploding bomb being explosive. A very important one to know is coercion and how it can cause skin burns, eye damage, or be corrosive to uh, metals. Um, the flame over the circle is oxidation. Gas cylinder will show that it's under pressure. The environmental hazard. The skull and crossbones shows that it will be acute toxicity, either fatal or just toxic. The exclamation mark you can read in more detail, but it has uh, specific hazards that you can look into for the chemical. The health hazard um, can be either at aspiration, a target organ. There are multiple health hazards that can be on there that you can reference the chemical for, and as well as flammable hazards. Okay, so as you have seen uh, so many signs and you know what are the hazards for those ones. Let's see some of the chemical bottle and see what are these type of signs are there. For an example, citric acid is an uh, organic compound but sign is exclamation so we don't know exactly what type of hazards are there and uh, sodium chloride which we eat this is also exclamation sign he is here and then uh, sodium bicarbonate we do not have any sign on this bottle so these uh, we store uh, regularly without very uh, on a safe place another type of uh, chemical is like a sodium hydroxide you will use many times in your lab and this have the corrosion sign so be careful and next is the uh, ethanol have the flammable sign and then this is the ether bottle diethyl ether so this have the flammable exclamation and uh, health hazard exclamation and flammable board so you that is why you can see it is uh, stored in a aluminum can because it is very very explosive you know immediately it will get fired so same thing is this for acetone bottle also have a flammable sign health and exclamation so you may will see more than one sign on a different type of chemical bottle so acetic acid is a have corrosion flammable exclamation and uh, also you can see here in the small um, square it's written a number also so as you know the number now you can just, uh, figure it out what type of health hazard will be there this is hydrochloric acid corrosive solvent and then this is the nitric acid this is also corrosive and flammable both so you can find any bottle and then look at what type of signs are there and based on that sign you will be now you, can, you will be known that what type of hazard they can pose some other important signs to know in the lab are these so we're not allowed to have any food or beverages inside the lab as well as using gloves and goggles at all times when handling chemicals and as well as uh, that safety glasses are required at all times in the lab These are some other signs that are very important to note within the lab. This first one is the fire extinguisher. This will point you to where the fire extinguisher is in lab. The second one is the emergency eyewash station. So this will also uh, point you to where the eyewash station is, which is right here in lab. And then lastly, there is the emergency shower station. So there our sign is right here and our shower is there are some additional signs that you will see around lab like uh, broken glass so to be careful as well as not um, being allowed to wear gloves in the hallway make sure you remove them before leaving lab 
okay so i hope you will understand and learn from this video that what are the sign on the chemical and what type of hazard they poses so whenever you come into the our lab and see any sign you must remember how to handle those chemicals and how to safely dispose how to safely store so i hope you will enjoy this video thank you and it should be good learning for you